So you've heard that merch by Amazon is an awesome way to make some extra money, but you are not sure where to start. It can be difficult to know what keywords to target and how to design products that sell well. You do not want to waste your time and money on products that will not sell. Keyword research is essential for success on Merch by Amazon. By finding the right keywords and targeting them correctly, you'll be able to increase the chances of your success dramatically. So in this video, we'll discuss why keyword research is so important and how you can go about doing it correctly. Hi guys, my name is RJ Martinez and I help people make money online with print on demand. Okay, if you're new and you're trying to figure out how to make sales online, this is what I do. And my goal is to help you have more time in your life so you can do whatever you want. What is Merch by Amazon? Merch by Amazon is a print on demand service that allows you to sell products with your own designs. You simply create the design, upload it to Merch by Amazon. When the customer purchases it on amazon.com, Amazon prints and ships it to the customer for you and you do not have to take care of no customer service. Why is keyword research so important? There are several reasons why keyword research is so important for Merch by Amazon. First, you need to find keywords people are actually searching for, okay? So how is someone gonna search to find your product, okay? What keywords are they gonna use to find your product? You can actually do this by going on amazon.com and actually doing a search. And we'll talk about that more later on in this video and what type of tools you can use to help you, you know, see what people are searching for in your niche to find products. Second, you need to target these keywords in your listing. You can do this by putting the right keywords in your title and description, bullet points, stuff like that. By you putting the right keywords in your listing, it's gonna make it more visible for people, the Amazon customer to search to find your product, okay? It's gonna increase the chances of you making a sale. And let me show you how to do your keyword research. Check it out, come here. All right, so it's gonna be a mixture of, you know, how to do it and some of the tools that you can use to help you learn how to do like the keyword research, okay? Um, so, so there's a few different ways. There's not just one way to do keyword research, all right? There's several different tools that you can use. This one right here is the Productor Dashboard. Okay, so when you log into your Merch by Amazon account, you would install this Chrome extension, the Productor for Merch by Amazon, okay? And you click on the Dashboard, Productor Dashboard, okay? And then you can see over here, it will show you like up and coming events, okay? This is big right here because it's there's a ton of up and coming holidays that you probably even didn't even know about. Research and keyword research kind of go hand in hand for me personally, okay? Because you'll see, you'll think of an idea, the next thing you know, you're like, all right, cool, going into keyword research, going into design research and stuff like that and uh, just getting inspiration on stuff. Okay, so this, like having this stuff in front of you is gonna help you, you know, with certain niches, grow your business, come up with new ideas, and it just it's just a rinse and repeat process after that. So it will show you the up and coming events right here. Okay, you'll see different uh, events coming up. Now Google, like you see Google Trends, this is really awesome. And you can, sometimes you'll find stuff that you would never even think of, like I said, and it can be a new niche idea. Now these right here, these are actual keywords. Uh, you can, these are people that are actually searching for keywords. And if you pay attention to this right here, sometimes you'll see stuff in there that some of your niches that you're in, people are searching for that on Google, which is really good because you know that there's, there's a demand for that, those keywords that people are searching for, and hopefully you created an awesome product that people would want to buy. So as you can see, this is really cool. Um, and you can see there's different, uh, you know, obviously different countries that you can look up, look into. So for example, like you look so nice in your shirt, right? So if a customer is searching for this, right? And you have to be careful with right here because you want to make sure that you know, you're not infringing on anything. Sometimes you'll see um, like a Nike shirt or something like that. And you do not want to design for something like that. So you have to making sure that you're double checking everything as far as, you know, trade, trademark and copyright. Um, Cause you don't want to be, you know, breaking any rules because you know that Merch by Amazon is really strict when it comes to any of that. But this is some, this is some of the cool ways of doing research because you want to figure out what people are searching for in your niche, right? And that's the big thing. 
you want to understand what people are searching for in your niche. What's your audience searching for so you can give them what they want. Okay, here's one tool. It's free too, by the way. All right, another one's gonna be just on Google Trends. So for example, let's, you can type in like monkey. Let's type in monkey. <laughs> shirt or something like that right just type in any type of phrase and you'll see you know related topics okay um in over here um hockey monkey interesting right um be careful that might be a movie i'm not sure um but let's see, looking at the keywords and stuff right here that it's giving you you can see different types of keywords that people are searching for gas monkey shirt okay um and obviously these may be movies and stuff like that. So double check that. But the idea that this is going to take work. Okay. Cause it's, it's not like you're just going to come in here and search something and just find it right away. Okay. It's not, that's not how it works. You got to keep searching, come up with different ideas. Use this as a, you know, a tool to help you come up with different keywords. Google trends though is really awesome because it shows you a lot of good information on Google for free. And it's a very, very, very powerful this is where your customer is hanging out at okay so what is the best way to do keyword research on the platform that you know your customers doing the actual search phrases to find your products okay the search bar is your best friend if you haven't heard me say this before um, I say it a lot because this is the truth how is a customer gonna search on Amazon to find your product and then it's your job to create something that they want okay you do hand in hand like that you're gonna make sales you know it's gonna turn make some money you, you give the algorithm what it wants the customer what it wants starting next you know you have a top seller in a niche and you're ranking number one I have done this plenty of times okay I have top sellers that are ranking number one in their niche so for example let's think of like so monkey shirt okay now, when you when I typed in monkey shirt, you're gonna see monkey shirt for men, monkey shirt for kids, monkey shirt for women, and so on and so forth. Monkey shirt, monkey shirt, the mountain, monkey shirt for T. People are actually searching for monkey shirt for T. Um, now, now there's maybe there's certain phrases, okay, that you know in your niche that people are saying, let's say like in, on Facebook or any type of social media platform and you put that long tail phrase in and see if people are searching for that funny phrase and then next thing you know you create a funny monkey shirt with that phrase on it on the shirt and then it starts making sales right one of the tools that i like to use is with this to help me a little bit more for the keywords is the amz suggestion expander you can see exactly what it does when you have it hooked up to you know on amazon it gives you more keyword ideas, which is very powerful. So let's type in monkey shirt and hit search. Okay. This is going to populate, you know, designs on Amazon. Okay. Well, it's going to populate monkey shirts. Okay. So monkey shirts. And then you're going to see obviously designs. This is a merch by Amazon uh, product right here. Okay. As we go down, this is a merch by Amazon product. This is a merch by Amazon product. This is a merch by Amazon product. This one is too. Okay, now you can see the keywords that they're using. Monkey dabbing funny t-shirt. So if I type in monkey dabbing funny t-shirt. Okay, funny shirt. That's what it said, right? T-shirt, it said t-shirt, right? Monkey funny t-shirt. Okay, let's do exactly the way it is right there. T-shirt. Okay, so we're doing that. But, you know, I would put just shirt, but let's say monkey fun. Monkey dabbing funny t-shirt. Okay. You're seeing other monkeys dabbing, popping up. Okay. Dabbing, popping up. Where's that one that we just searched? There it is right there. Now, the thing is, remember, the algorithm is always working. So when we did monkey shirt, it showed us some results. Okay, it, it will it will go back and forth with those results. And I'm just giving you an insight of how the algorithm would work. When you type in a long tail keyword or a customer types in a long tail keyword, your, your design pops up because you have it in your title brand or bullet points or descriptions and they make a purchase. The more that you convert for that long tail keyword and you have really solid keywords in your listing, 
the more sales velocity you're gonna get because it's gonna start to rank closer and closer to the front page, okay? Which is very powerful, okay? You can, by you doing that, it, it just, you're, you're gonna make more money, right? You're giving the algorithm what it wants, okay? In return, you're gonna be making more money. Now, like I said, with the algorithm, no one knows how it works. So it will, it will bring in new keywords. It will bring in new products for each customer that searches for something because they're just sharing, you know, you're sharing the placement with other sellers and that's just the way it works, right? But you can see how powerful it is, but you doing searches on Amazon and figuring out, okay, where, like, how am I, I how am I gonna rank for a product or how are you even gonna compete with these other dabbing monkeys? Okay, how are you gonna make sales? with these dabbing monkeys. So that's something that you have to think about. And if you can compete in this niche, do it. But if there's other, there's, if there's a hundred other dabbing monkeys, what's gonna make you stand out if you're 101 compared to those other hundred dabbing monkeys. And this is where a lot of people have like, they have this, this is where a lot of people give up because it's confusing and very hard if you do it that way, if you're competing with everyone else and doing what everyone else is doing, it's it's very frustrating because you won't make sales and you won't make money. So the search bar is going to be your best friend. All right. So the next way you can do keyword research is going to be Merchant Farmer. So if you come over here to uh, keyword research, come over here to keyword finder, you know, um, there's also trending phrases, keyword cloud, niche hunter. There's, there's, a, there's a few different ways you can do, you know, just different types of research. So let's type in monkey. Let's type in monkey shirt. Okay, the source is Amazon US. And you obviously can see there's other sources that you can use on here. So when I type that in, this is interesting. This pops up. Rainbow monkey shirt. Search volume. Okay, it's going to show you keyword dash phrases. Um, AMZ search volume, Google search volume, CPC, competition. And it shows you some actions and some stuff that you features that you can do over here. Monkeys uncle shirt. See something, see stuff like that. Fly, flying monkeys shirt, monkey cigar shirt. Okay. Monkey blowing shirt. We obviously seen that when we did research. Sea monkeys shirt. When I'm looking at this type of stuff, monkey astronaut shirt. Okay. These are telling me something. Okay. When I see stuff, I'm like, okay, cool. This is interesting because if I take monkey's uncle or rainbow, okay, that right there, and just, just do a search to see like, okay, what's going on over here? Okay, if I come back over here, like, what's going on in Amazon? Like what monkey, rainbow monkey, okay? People are really searching for rainbow monkey. What, the, what are the results that are popping up? Okay, what are the results that are popping up? Let's do a product search. With Merchant Farmer, I want to see the results. What's going on? Okay, why? What's so, what's so cool over here? Is it is like is there a demand in this? Is there a BSR? And uh, Merchant Farmer is showing that there is BSRs over here. Pride, interesting. That's cool. Monkey Halloween costume. This is cool too, right? Really awesome. Retro. Okay, you're seeing stuff like that, but I'm looking for the Rainbow Monkey, right? It's, it's really not showing me anything anything too much let's go back up and see let's say like for example dance monkey rainbow unicorn okay i was looking i was trying to click on one of those to pull up but okay there we go pulled up sales rank you can see okay it has some sales all right but when i'm looking here i'm trying to see if there's a demand in here and and maybe there's not a demand in here or there maybe just there is a demand in here but it's not being you know it's not nothing that the customer wants so what i would do you know i would try to come in here and just kind of research that that keyword phrase a little bit more maybe even just take it over on google do a search over there and see what else is popping up you know just kind of just go down the whole rabbit hole you can even search it on etsy and see if anything over there is popping up okay um or, or whatever platform that you think that you do research on that gives you good inspiration on that's what i would do okay so 
and it just rinse and repeat. Like, okay, maybe that didn't work. Maybe there's I need to go find something else, another keyword phrase, and see you know what's going on. But this is very powerful because you find hidden niches like that 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 you know they, there's a demand there, but no one has given a good design, and you create something that's really awesome in that niche and then make sales. Boom. All right, so one of my favorite tools to use. Okay, I clicked on a listing. Let's say I find like a top selling design in a niche. Um, I look at this. So this is a BSR chart. It's a helium. So helium ten extension right here, but it's popping up a BSR chart right here on the listing. So let's say you do your research, right? And you find, you know, like a top selling design. You see this right here. This design is, you know, it's, you can see that it's making sales when you go, when it goes up and then it comes back down, it's made a sell. It goes up and sell, 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 sell. So when it goes up and drops down to sell. Okay. But my thing is, is what, how are people finding this product? Like, I want to know like what's, what, what are people doing? What people, what are keywords people are using to find this product and what keywords can I see in there? Like, as, like, I, like I showed you in this video, what other keywords can give me inspiration and maybe I can find a niche where there is no competition. Okay. And that's powerful right there because when I click on my, click on the keywords right here, Let's go back real fast. I click right here on the keywords and it's a tool called Celebro and inside of Helium 10. And the tools, all the tools that I'm talking about, it's going to be down below in the description. Okay. If you're unaware, I have my coupon codes down there. Make sure you use those coupon codes because I'm hooking you up. And then of course I make something off of that too. So that's an affiliate. Okay. And those are my affiliates down below. Um, but I'm sharing this video and showing you guys how I would do it. Now we came over here. Okay. We clicked on the keywords. Now it's doing the reverse ASIN search. Now it's showing us the phrases that the, this product is ranking for. Okay. Um, there's some cool features in here, the filters that you can use as far as, you know, excluding certain phrases. If you don't want it to say, let's say it's, you know, populating for a keyword that you're not, it's like, it shouldn't be in the niche. Um, or you're just trying to like, say you want it to only say sh shirt, right? So I want it to only say shirt and then I hit apply filter, right? Then it'll, it'll literally filter all that out or, or something that's really powerful. So let's say competing products only want competing products with you know I want to only want to compete with products you know everything is less than 200 so competing products 95 139 monkey island t-shirt you see what I'm saying you know monkey belly shirt okay monkey astronaut here's that monkey astronaut again 128 competing products monkey trainer shirt and like just because you see it here um, and you've seen like there's only a, like a, there's only 128 competing products. If you go on there and search it, sometimes you'll go search it, but there'll be 128 products. Now it's 100, 295. Like, now remember, remember, Amazon is always messing with the algorithm. So like in the morning, it only showed probably maybe in the morning, it only showed 100 and back over here. One second. <laughs> what happened? Okay, there it goes. Okay, competing products. Okay, in the morning, maybe it showed it had 128 products in the morning, but then later on, you know, throughout the day, Amazon just, you know, you know, moving stuff around and showing new results, stuff like that. So if you see that a little off sometimes, that's okay. But sometimes, the I was going back to the point I was going back to, sometimes you'll come in here and you'll see like, so the monkey astronaut, sometimes you'll come here and go to like the middle of the page and then it'll just fall off. There'll be no more monkey astronaut. It'll be... Just putting just random products and that did not relate to monkey astronaut as you can see right there's certain so this is not a monkey astronaut shirt it's a really awesome illustration but it's not a monkey this is not a monkey yet it's a dabbing monkey see that's what i'm saying it's, it's just grabbing products and putting them in there but it has nothing to do with an astronaut this is a the this is a t-rex astronaut this is a really awesome you know illustration but that's has nothing to do with that search phrase Right. So you can see what they're like, what it, Amazon's doing, or even if they have it in their, in their listing, it's kind of hurting them. You don't want to do that because you're like, kind of like it's keyword stuffing. If it has nothing to do with nothing to do with the design at all. And you're doing that it's keyword stuffing. So you want to be careful with that because you're hurting the chances of you, you know, ranking. So if Amazon sees that it's showing, um, your product to a customer and it's not converting over a certain time, they're just going to push it back page five page seven page eight and they're, they're just gonna get rid of it they don't want your product to be ranking up there okay because it's not converting it's obviously a bad product they don't want it up there they don't want it up there 
okay um but you can see how powerful this is because it's showing us search phrases let's go back let's clear these features okay no filters and um yeah you can see this this is really really powerful and it says this is ranking number one for monkey shirt for men okay now this is something that it, it will rotate out like i told you it's going to rotate this out before it was probably one number one but now it's you know it's what is it number four five six something around there five or six okay so i felt it, it, it it'll rotate it out so the other amazon seller can have a chance to make a sale too as well maybe it's good during you know throughout the day after 3 p.m it's converting this shirt's converting better you know for four men compared to this shirt because the algorithm's always testing stuff out so that's very very powerful you can see how that works and that's how i would do keyword research with helium tech now what are the best keywords for merch by amazon products now there's no one size fit all answer for the best keywords for merch by amazon products however there are a few things that you can do to find the best keywords for your products first thing you need to do is identify what people are searching for in your niche and you can do this by everything that i shared with you in this video look at all the tools and all the different ways that you can find keywords and second you need to target those keywords in your listing that's so so important okay there are a lot of people that reach out to me and they show me their listing and they do not have the correct keywords in their listing they have an awesome design but horrible keywords okay keywords are important just as important as the design if you do this you know that's when the sales volume comes in the traffic comes into your design if you don't have this you know no one's gonna see your design you're gonna be ranking on page five page six page seven all day no one goes to those no one purchases no one makes a purchase on page seven and if you're interested on learning more about merch by amazon i have a video right here where i talk about how i make over five thousand dollars a month with merch by amazon